Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining me here today. I first want to thank entrepreneur extraordinaire Dallas Holland uh, for opening, uh, and the team at Beyond Sweet for opening your restaurant here today for this bill signing. And want to acknowledge Alderman Brett and Ryan as well as Danny, um, who's also an entrepreneur and restaurant owner, for joining us today. As mayor of St. Louis, I'm tasked with making it easier for businesses to thrive in our city. That includes our locally owned restaurants like the one we're standing in today. In the 1990s, my father and I and his best friend pooled our money to open Sugar's Place, a restaurant and bar on Euclid and Washington. Look, I thought politics was a cutthroat business, but let me tell you, running a restaurant is a whole other beast. Back then, I had to navigate the labyrinth of St. Louis's liquor license process. I remember my dad and I going door to door to get signatures, that, the signatures we needed to open our, our restaurant. So when small business owners reached out to me about delays in the liquor license approval process and how much easier it is in St. Louis County, I heard them loud and clear. St. Louis has a world-class restaurant scene making our city more diverse and our neighborhoods more vibrant. So to the restaurant owners gathered here today, I wanna to say thank you because you add flavor to our city's culture. But you know what they say, actions speak louder than words. And we aren't just here today to brag about St. Louis and our thriving restaurant scene. We're here to make it easier to expand our world-class food scene by giving restaurant owners more options to get a liquor license. We know from the conversations we've had with restaurant owners that the first few months after opening are most crucial to their success. Until now, obtaining a liquor license in St. Louis has been a lengthy, cumbersome process for business owners who are working round the clock just to keep their doors open. Some owners have told us it takes up to six months or more to get a local liquor license. Signing this bill will open up another avenue to streamline the liquor license application process for restaurants without taking away the voice of the communities where they're located. In addition to my administration hiring additional staff in the excise division, we're also giving restaurant restaurants, bars, microbreweries, tap rooms, and brew pubs an alternative option to get a temporary liquor license and then keep it as long as they are good, in good standing with the excise division and their neighbors. This bill makes it easier for these restaurants to thrive while giving the city and the community the abil ability to hold bad actors accountable. My mission continues to make historic investments in our small business community, and I'm proud today to sign this bill and welcome even more restaurants to our thriving city. Thank you and God bless.